This is the 2022 Hallmark movie, The Gift of Peace. And this is one of my 3D printed gazebos. And this is another one of my 3D printing gazebos. And this is two characters talking about my 3D printing gazebo. Greetings, printing enthusiasts. My name is Vicki Soma. This is Teagall 3D. And today I'm gonna title the episode, Hey, I have a 3D print in a Hallmark movie. The 3D print in question is a ornament that I did in 2015 based off of the gazebo in Mamie Davis Park in Occoquan, Virginia. Recently, a keen-eyed Twitter user spotted his design in an episode of Only Murders in the Building, and it was a mystery to him how his piece got into the show. Mine is a little less of a mystery. In August of 2022, I know, over a year ago, uh, someone involved with the production ordered two of my gazebos and they wanted it shipped internationally overnight. Uh, as I was arranging those details, uh, they mentioned that it would be used in a Hallmark Christmas movie. Now, I didn't get too terribly excited at that point. Um, you know, my understanding is a lot of times things end up on the cutting room floor. I mean, if Harrison Ford could get cut from E.T., I think it would be very easy to cut a 3D printed gazebo from a movie. The movie came out in December of 2022, last year, and you may be wondering why I'm telling you about this now. Um, I thought that the movie process was a, a bit long, so I did not follow up on this until recently. Uh, in retrospect, I suppose there's not a lot of CGI post-processing going on with Hallmark movies, so live and learn. Even though I know how my gazebo ended up into the film, I shipped it to them, I still had a little bit of sleuthing to do. Uh, my contact confirmed that the gazebo was in the final cut of the movie. She was able to tell me a little synopsis that it was about four people navigating grief. And she was able to tell me the working title of the movie, which was The Art of Letting Go. Some Googling showed that The Art of Letting Go wasn't a recent Hallmark movie. I learned that Hallmark movies have their own kind of fan base, so there's some hype involved of the upcoming movies. I found an article anticipating upcoming movies in 2022, and in it they mentioned that Brittany Mitchell, an actress, had posted on her Instagram that she was going to be in a movie, The Art of Letting Go. Well, I hit up Brittany Mitchell's IMDb account, and I found out that she was in a movie called The Gift of Peace. The Gift of Peace was available on Amazon and I had to pay for it. So I did some Googling. I found a plot synopsis that mentioned gazebo and it also mentioned ornament. So it seemed like it was going to be a good bet. It was enough for me to plop down the money to buy the movie on Amazon. I thought that I was going to have to be eagle eyed and pay attention to every second of this movie to see my gazebo on the bookshelf or someplace behind the scenes. Lo and behold, my gazebo shows up in the first 58 seconds. It's broken. That explained why they ordered two. Now, if I knew that they were going to break one, I could have offered them some from my fail bin for free. There might be some light spoilers here. One of the main characters, Michael, uh, his wife died in a car accident. And after the accident, they found this wrapped gift for him. And it was a gazebo ornament because they had met in a gazebo. Don't feel too bad about the broken gazebo. Michael is the leader of a support group for people who are grieving. And through the support group, he meets Tracy. <laughs> That's her name, Tracy. Michael meets Tracy, who happens to be an artist. And as their friendship grows, Spoiler alert, uh, Tracy volunteers to repair the gazebo. I have found that often when people order this gazebo from me, they have a happy memory or happy event, like an engagement or a wedding that's tied to the gazebo. And that is exactly what drove uh, Michael's wife to purchase the gazebo for him to commemorate when they first met. The movie adds a new spin to the gazebo. After Tracy repairs it, uh, she explains that it represents how things that are broken can become beautiful and whole again. 
Here you go. Still has some tiny cracks, but I think it's part of the charm. You know, it shows that uh, things that are broken can be made, you know, somewhat whole again. The movie also adds a little bit of a sinister backstory to the gazebo. You see, in a emotional climax of the movie, Michael explains that he kind of blames the gazebo for killing his wife. Sorry, Tracy. She didn't go and buy that gazebo for me. I swear she'd still be here today. Michael, you can't no, think like that. I do think like that. Little did Michael's first wife know she didn't have to drive to get that gazebo at all. I could have shipped it to her from my Etsy shop. And there you have it. My 3D printed gazebo is in a movie. I'm hoping this means I can call myself a prop maker. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.